All right, guys, pretty good. Just waiting for that timing side channel. Just, just need it. Need to get the password. Just one character left. There we go. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, we can do reset one more time. Enter, and then it says, "Here's the here's the YouTube URL. Click it. Let's click it. I wish I could. I wish I could skip the commercial. Guys, we're getting ten dollars commercials. All right, let's do it." Oh yeah, oh yeah. Please enter the password. Boom, boom. The password oh, yeah. is password. Oh yeah. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. I have to make sure that it's finished flashing. Oh yeah. Wait, how did you do the Hmm, I see what you did there. Yes, so it makes more sense to, hmm. I feel like, I feel like uh, Active Camel deserves a bonus on this one. I love to hack. Very good, Camel. Very good. All right, so we did draw the glitcher. It's just that now we're gonna directly connect them in the block design. Add IP, XE, GPIO, RP, paste, paste, so two, three, four, and five. So add module, let's add delay. Add module detect. This valid is gonna be this enable. So this GPIO out is gonna be the delay in. Add module pulse. Pulse, where are you, pulse? There we go. Oh, I couldn't see it. Valid is gonna be this enable. This output is gonna be this width. Detect enables delay enables pulse detect we need to connect it to the serial data from here over to the rx of the risk five that we're attacking add ip constant boom i'm going to add module mux2 boom add ip block ping wizard here's our clock whiz let's do it run connection automation all right so it's going 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 and so now it's a little bit easier to look at I, I think that's it so let's run it let's try it out here we're doing clock glitching so we're generating a higher frequency clock and then the yellow signal is the select. Uh, the blue signal is what the what the FPGA or sorry, what the yeah, what, what's happening on the on the Xilinx? What's happening on the zinc? I mean, you see, it's like 97 megahertz, so that that's our 100 megahertz clock. So there's our 2.5 nanosecond 400 megahertz clock. The, there's a couple issues that are like overlapping. So there's a bunch of noise on the headers. There's a ton of attenuation, so the amplitude is really small but you can still see it. So, I mean, it's still, it's there, it's working. Let's zoom in, let's zoom in. There we go. There we go, guys, we're glitching. Mine is right around the start. I don't know if it'll, uh, but there's there's gonna be other positions that work as well. I mean, we can we can try uh, different parameters on the on the delay. 